Hey guys, yep, it is um, Blu-ray DVD um, update time, mostly Blu-ray update time, and mostly with the 4Ks too. But yeah, I these are basically titles I recently got, and I just haven't had a chance to tell you guys about them or anything. Uh, I think I may have told you about a few of them, maybe, in the last one, but again, these are newer ones that I haven't um, actually given an, an opportunity to show you. Uh, that I recently added to the collection and these were titles that I had my eye on for a while In fact one of them I should have got when I did uh, When it was in 4k and I still might get the 4k for it and another one that I got uh, Recently as well so that I'll have both versions. I know that sounds a little weird, but You know hey having one better having one over the other is better than nothing, you know But what did I get what blu-rays and 4k's did I add? to the collection um, this week or recently um, if we will and um, if I can get it you know situated here um, I'll be able to, to show you guys okay so the first one that I got uh, and again this is one of those that I might end up getting the um, the blu-ray the 4k4 down the line uh, because it does sharpen up the picture, even though if you have the, um, even though, even though if you have 4K television and you have the picture, you have the picture mode and dynamic mode on the picture mode, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but still, um, I ended up getting this because, you know, of course I have the other two, so I figured I gotta get this to complete the collection. I'm talking about Godzilla vs. Kong. That's right, Godzilla vs. Kong. I do have Godzilla, I do have Kong, and now I have Godzilla vs. Kong um, as well. And yes, they are working on a second Godzilla vs. Kong film to add to what is known as the uh, Monsterverse and everything. And like I said, I might end up getting the 4K uh, down the line um, as well. And as you can tell, you have uh, two discs there. One DVD and one Blu-ray. So yeah, I got Godzilla vs. Kong. Really happy to have that in the collection. And then around the same time, I bought this. And this was the only 4K I bought. Because I, I didn't see the 4K for Godzilla vs. Kong. But at the same time I bought that movie, I bought this movie. The Collector's Edition of Sing. Now there was a Target exclusive... I did not see that. I don't know if that sold out or they just didn't get it. But yeah, I ended up getting the 4K version of Sing 2, which is pretty cool. And you can see that's the 4K and then that's the Blu-ray right there. It's really nice. And then, of course, you got something on the back for Universal Rewards to get like a free movie and stuff. And I might look into that um, as well. But yeah, ended up getting Sing so now I have both Sing and Sing 2 uh, together, which is pretty nice to have in the collection. And then, recently, I bought a couple of other things. This is another one of the movies that I might go with the 4K version down the line as well. I might get a 4K version. But what's funny is the 4K version didn't have a Target exclusive on it, as far as I know. And that is... The Matrix Revelations. That's right, The Matrix Revelations, which comes with uh, these cards, which is pretty cool. And that's the slipcover without the thing on it. And the cards actually come out just like that. It's pretty cool. Look at that. They come out like that. So, so there you go. And they, they actually are like a puzzle card. So you have the pills. And then that, then you have Neo, then you have, um, what's her name, I can't think of it right now. You have the younger version of uh, Lord Fishburger's character. And then you have the rabbit, as far as I know. You have Neil Patrick Harris's character. And then what it does is it forms together, um, as you can tell, to create the cat that you see uh, in the film next to Neil Patrick Harris. Which I think is pretty cool. And then of course... You have the Blu-ray along with the DVD 
um, as well. And like I said, I might get the 4K down the line as as well. Maybe even upgrade to 4K digitally, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, we'll we'll see what happens. Make sure this is all right and everything. Okay. But yeah, got the Matrix. I know not a lot of people were fond of it, but, you know, it's the Matrix. You know, have it in the collection. And then, I ended up getting this. And I got this for $9.99. I actually got a lot cheaper than that, too, because, of course, my discount and everything, 15% off the red card. Well, 5% off the red card, 10% off the team member discount. So about 15%. I ended up getting for $9.99, if not lesser, I think probably about $7 lesser, maybe. Oh, well, not $7, but $2, $3 lesser. The 4K Target exclusive of Toy Story 4. Now, you might ask yourself, why was this for sale? Well, it's because this has been out for quite some time. And because our store, like a lot of stores prior to us and after us, are going through a lot of remodeling and stuff, they want to get rid of a lot of unnecessary stock. And this was one of those unnecessary stocks. So this is the uh, Toy Story 4K Target exclusive, which is pretty cool. Really like that. And as you can tell, it's a, a box set here. Oh, it's kind of like a picture book, which is really nice. And then there you have the Blu-ray, you have the 4K, and you have another Blu-ray um, as well, the Blu-ray, here's the bonuses. You got the 4K version of the movie. You got the Blu-ray version of the movie. Then you got a nice booklet here. A nice little art book, which is pretty cool um, as well. So, really nice to have that. That's the one thing about these exclusives. Uh, no matter where you get them, um, you're always going to get exclusives. You're always going to get some extra material, which is why the... Oh, these are comics. These are pretty cool. These are comics, so that's kind of cool. But you're always going to get something um, that, it, you know, justifies the, the raising of the price, if you will. Uh, you know, justifies the, the raising of the price, um, you know, of the entire thing, um, the, the entire thing uh, as well. So that's kind of cool. And then you get this nice little um, slip cover to go along with it and stuff. And I do apologize for a second. I'm going to use my light here for a moment. And then last but not least, I'm not going to open it yet. I'll probably do its own video. Yesterday it came out and I got it. The Target exclusive, exclusive was actually cheaper than the regular 4K version. Spider-Man No Way Home. So yeah, I ended up getting that. And I can't wait to open it to see what's involved um, in that as well. But that's about it for the Blu-ray update, guys. Blu-ray 4K update. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are overall. Comment if you like. And I am out.